coming to you live from uh, Cloud Foundry Summit here in Santa Clara. I'm here with Ryan Bohm. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I am doing well. So good. you work for GE Digital, I do. specifically on Predix. Mm -hmm. And if you could just sort of say what, let's start with what's GE Digital do, and then we'll get into Predix. Yeah. So like you said, I'm Ryan Bohm. Um, I am a developer evangelist at GE Digital. I very specifically focus on our industrial internet platform, which is called Predix. So um, what we're doing with Predix, it's completely run on Cloud Foundry, which is why we're here live from the summit. Makes sense. Yep. And if you can think of the different industries that GE is in, um, aviation, healthcare, lighting, a lot of different things with a lot of big data, we are creating a platform where you can take that data and make it smarter. So our platform has microservices, much like you understand uh, how Cloud Foundry is run, where you can create and build your own applications that manage these really, really big products. So we're coining the term um, industrial internet of things, which you may have heard from a lot of different places around here and some of our competitors around here as well. I-I-O-T, yes. I-I-O-T, yes. And I know for ourselves at Dell EMC, we're focusing on the the industrial side as opposed to yep. the consumer because that seems to be really where the opportunity is. Yeah, absolutely. So there's a lot of data coming from a lot of places. You don't always think about your jet engine or your wind turbine and what you can really do with it. So GE having so many years of history in those different fields, we have that operational context that not all of the companies necessarily have. So. We're experts in the hardware, so we have built these locomotives for many, many years, so let's bring that knowledge over to software and really optimize it. And then I think GE as a company has big goals to become very much a software-focused company. Mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. What were some of the things by the year blankety-blank you were supposed to be? I don't know if you know those stats, but... So, um, we're going very software-focused, obviously building up uh, Predix, so we've been GA. About a year and a half now, I would say, and starting off by GE for GE, but then we're also building on GE for the world. So working with a lot of our big customers, Pitney Bowes of the world, things that you've heard of that we're very publicly advertising, and we're building up our developer platform. So it's for full stack developers at the moment, and we're going for 40,000 active developers on our platform right now. So big company, big goals. So when did the uh, developer uh, evangelism and the developer attraction program kickoff. Was that right yeah. from the beginning or? So the develop, we're called developer relations. So it was a facet of product marketing, but we also have a team of engineers that work on developer relations that focus on a lot of our tutorials and technical content and things that you see in, on our critics.io website. So go to the resources page there and you'll see a lot of what developer relations has to offer. So we're really about enabling the developer and creating interactive ways to get involved and we've been around since the since the beginning of Predix so just build that community up. And then I know this may be early for you all but do you have a certified Predix developer program? Are you working mm -hmm. on one? Yep so we do have a Predix certification. Uh, started a couple months ago now and picking up really fast. So that's all on Predix.io if you want to get certified. We've got a lot of different training for whatever type of developer you may be, and all of that information is definitely available on our website. And what are some of the big partnerships? Obviously, you talk about Cloud Foundry. I think yeah. I was at an event where SAP was talking about a big thing they're doing with you all. Are you working with most different uh, of the different distros of Cloud Foundry? So we have a lot of various partnerships, and a lot of those partnerships manifest themselves in tiles in our catalog. So we try and put a lot of our partnerships as microservices, and people like SaaS are on there, as you can see in our catalog. Cool. And then mm -hmm. just to, to wrap up with, what do you, what's the, the future hold for Predix over, say, the next year? Over the next year, we are stabilizing our platform, growing, getting more customers. It's really amazing to see a lot of these partnerships and customers come to life and seeing those customers' eyes light up when they actually have a solution and things that they never thought that they could do before. Awesome. Ryan Bohm, thanks so much.